co-host Puffers, and today, instead of talking about sports, we're going to be actually starting a new thing here. I know everyone is sad because March Sadness has arrived instead of March Madness. I'm very disappointed that I will not be able to watch the NCAA tournament this year, and I'm without sports, unless... You're a marble fanatic, and you really want to watch marbles. So there's really nothing out for you in the sports world. We had free agency for a little bit, and we saw some crazy stuff happen there. But mm, I just really without sports for a little bit. So I thought, if anyone else is feeling this way, I thought I would start something new with a new item that I've never done before on this channel, and it's Madden. Okay, so... We're going to do this tournament in Madden to determine something. So, a lot of, if you're a college football fan, I'm sure you've gotten into an argument with someone, and I know I have, about which conference is the best. SEC Fanatics thinks their conference is the best. Big Ten thinks their conference is the best because we are the best. But besides that, uh, the ACC thinks they're the best, even though they just kind of have Clemson and no one else. And I should pick 12 from Pac-12. Everyone thinks they're the best conference, right? So, what well, today we're going to discover, we're going to, today and over the next probably like a month or so, we're going to play tournament games to determine which conference is the best. So here's how it works, right? So, not which conference is the best, but which conference produces the best players as of late. Uh, so, here's how it'll work, okay? So, the Big Ten team, for instance, it has three quarterbacks. Every team has three quarterbacks. Uh, their quarterback, the starting quarterback is Russell Wilson because he went to Wisconsin. And then Tom Brady's... Uh, no, Drew Brees' is second string because he went to Purdue. And Tom Brady's third string because he went to Michigan. So all the teams... So basically, if you went to a college that in, is in a conference now, you're part of that conference team. So there are some weird ones. Like, for instance, Texas A&M switched conferences at one point. So Von Miller, even though he played in the Big 12, is now in the SEC team. So it's going to be really interesting. I think it's going to be a really fun tournament to watch. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Uh, so here's how it's going to work. So there's 12 teams in the conferences. So you have the Big Power 5 conferences, the Group of 5 conferences, which if you don't know is the MAC, uh, the American, the Mountain West, Conference USA and Sunbelt. So those are the 10 main conferences. Then we have uh, all the smaller schools. So FCS, Division II, Division III. That's all in one team. And then finally, we have our last team, which is the independent. So if you don't know, in some college football teams are independent. Exactly six of them. Notre Dame, BYU, Army, New Mexico State, Liberty, and UMass. Those are the six. And basically, those six make up all the players on that team, and they're actually pretty good this year. So, what I did, 12 teams, obviously, you can't have them all play. So, the first four teams get an automatic bye week one. It's so kind of like Wild Card Weekend. Eight teams will play in Wild Card Weekend. It's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. we we'll all play. So, if you're the fifth seed, you get home field advantage, and you play the 12th seed. And it just kind of works like that for all of them. The highest seed, just like the NFL playoff, gets home field advantage. And that goes all the way to the Super Bowl, where, of course, you'll play, be playing in Miami because it's the Super Bowl. Anyways, I'm really excited to start this series. I hope you guys are excited, too. Wait, one more thing, too. Uh, so, you guys might be weird because the places aren't lined up. So, like, for instance, the SEC is the Browns. And a lot of people would be confused about why the SEC is the Browns. And I tried to make this as realistic as possible, right? So, what I did was... If you didn't know, Freddie Kitchens, the old head coach of the Browns, which is still the head coach in Madden 20, went to Alabama. So that is why the SEC of the Browns. So what I did is if you went to a college that is, for instance, the Big Ten is the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Pac-12 is the Panthers because Ron Rivera went to a college in Pac-12. Uh, and then the Big 12 is the San Francisco 49ers. The ACC is the box, you know, stuff like that. So it kind of makes sense, like, if you don't go to different colleges and stuff. But, of course... Uh, Conference USA doesn't have a head coach in the NFL right now that coached at that conference and that went to that school. So wait, if you don't have one of those, like for instance, uh, 
the American didn't have one, the Mountain West didn't have one. So what you do is you go through the head coaches that are remaining, and uh, we saw where they went to school, for instance. Well, they like coached at. So for instance, uh, Sean Payton for the Saints, which is what the Mountain West is, coached at San Diego State for a little bit. So he is going to be the Mountain West head coach. But still, after all that conference USA, I still need to have a head coach. So what I went through is I went through offensive coordinators and defensive coordinators and see where they went to went to college and where they coached. And uh, it turns out the defensive coordinator for the Cowboys actually coached at a conference USA school. I believe it was Rice. So that's why they're the Cowboys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this series. I'm so excited to introduce you to the players and start watching the games myself. Anyways, this is GGB, co-host Poppers, who is obviously just as excited to watch these games as I am, saying, Are you so good?